Um, the reason why I came this far to study is because uh, the tuition fees, first of all, uh, were affordable and also I wanted to get like a different cultural experience than back in my country. So I thought it was a great opportunity to both study in English and get to know another culture. Plus the education here is of a higher uh, level than in my country, so that was of a greater advantage. I think it's a really good idea to study abroad because you get to know a lot of international people, first of all. So you're not only surrounded by people from your own culture uh, who speak your own language, but you also get to know different cultures and different people coming from different places over the world. And you're all sharing the same uh, scenario, which is both studying in another country and overcoming like some uh, difficulties that that involves. So I think it's a great um, opportunity that everyone who has the chance to take should do. Here there's a lot more opportunities than back in my country. Uh, to begin with, uh, the government provides with uh, scholarships for people who cannot afford to pay their own tuition fee. Plus, if you're still, still struggling with uh, your money, you can also work and get a grant from the government. That helps a lot of people to come here to this country to study. Um, that's something that we as students appreciate a lot from uh, how this country works. Uh, other opportunities, for example, are you're in the middle of Europe and then you can travel uh, basically all over. Uh, also, transportation here within the country is uh, really affordable for students, so you can get to know many, many cities and do short trips, and uh, I think that's pretty good for us. For me to overcome the cultural difference was not uh, so difficult, because I travel a lot uh, back, uh, back when I was like 16 to 18, I travel a lot uh, around the world, I would say. But still it's a struggle to go to a country where you don't speak the language. Um, that's the main difficulty, also the weather and the, all the activities are different, also the culture of the people and their behavior is different. So I think you just have to approach people from this country and try to adapt to what they do, also see how, why they do it this way, right? And uh, I think that's a good way of uh, interacting with the culture and overcoming the difference between yours and theirs. Even when the studies are taking out of uh, my energy and then you should go to classes, prepare for your exams and also do your internship and final thesis, uh, my ultimate goal is to have my own company and work for myself. And I think that not only the studies and what you learn uh, prepare you for that, but also the fact that you do an internship and a thesis, which is like a final internship uh, in a company, allow you to see how the market works, right? So how companies work, how projects are done within a company, Plus, you also study with a lot of international people, so your, your network is quite broad. So that, that allows you to have like different options and different points of view about the different topic or uh, business, whatever you want to work in. The studies helped me to get to my final point, both by providing me uh, theoretical and practical work. So uh, on one side you have all the teachers in your school who can help you solve doubts, uh, gain more knowledge about something, or they can give you tips about how industries work so you can decide by yourself is it worth for me to go there or not. Uh, plus when you go to a company and you do an internship then you can really see how is it working there. right? So you can have an overview of how the industry where you want to work is before uh, going there and saying okay I will work like an engineer. Then. First you go and you say, okay, how is it working as an engineer? And then you see it by your own eyes.